Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this easy face. Um, my voice is super cracky because I'm getting over being sick, so please don't mind my lack of, I don't know what kind of voice I have right now, so just please just don't mind it. Um, I hope you guys really love this look. This is my everyday look. It's my products that I love and have been using for a while now, so I hope that you can love them as much as I love them. So if you want to see how I got this look, just stay along. Yes, I meant stick around, not stay along. <laughs> Alright, so I have a fresh face. I use the Tula products. I use the moisturizer and I use the cleanser. Actually, the other way around. Um, and then I am going to use the Hourglass Veil or Veil Mineral Primer. I love it because it's oil free. Um, so it really gives your face like a matte look, which I need because I have really oily skin. So I just kind of put that over my face and it's really light, which I really enjoy. And it feels good and it smells fresh. So that's always a plus. Alright, then I'm going to use my Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation by Hourglass. Again, this is also mattifying, so it's really good um, if you have that oily or combination skin. I just put a little bit on my hand, and I really, like, a little bit goes a long way with this one, so don't overdo it because you will look psycho. I'm just going to, like, dab it with the Sephora. I use the Sephora 56 brush. It's the Flawless Airbrush. Now I'm going to go in with the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the medium light. And this is a really great concealer. It's a weightless complete coverage concealer. This is like my fifth tube. I've been using it non-stop. So I just put it under my eyes, down my nose, here, here. And then I get it where like I have any pimples this week. I have gotten the fortunate opportunity of having a complete breakout. Probably because I'm stressed, but thanks. All right, goodness gracious, I have so many pimples, sorry, sorry about that. Then I use, I go in with a damp beauty blender and I just blend it all. So before I put on powder, I'm going to use um, a highlighter. So I've been loving the Hourglass Incandescent Strobe Light Highlighter. It's like a really pretty pinky, like, white. I don't think you can see it, but I will link it. Um, it's really, really nice. And so I use the Beauty Blender and I dip it until you see that it has the product in it. And then I put it under, under my eyes. Don't worry, I'm going to it. And then here down my nose. I make the best faces when I'm like putting on highlighter. I'm like, so yeah, so I do that. Um, all right, so once I have that set, I don't know why I'm putting on my lids, but once I have that, then I'm going to go in with my um, Rich Vanilla, Laura Mercier Rich Vanilla um, Mineral Press Powder. It's the bomb.com. I've been using this since I was in like ninth grade. Um, and I use just like a MAC um, 187 brush. So this is just like a powder brush, and I really, really like it. I've had this forever. It needs to be clean, but... Done with that, I'm just gonna go back in a little bit with the blender. Before I put on any bronzer or blush, I am gonna put the Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder. It's very powdery, so you gotta be like really cautious with it. So I just put it on the lid, and then I just get like a regular. Um, this is a rounded powder, extra large brush from Sephora. It's number 49. It's pretty old, so I don't really know if they still have it. But if you just get like a big brush, that should work. So now, my favorite part, the bronzer. So I love the Luminous Bronze Light by Hourglass. It is thebomb.com. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This is like my third one and they last a while. I just like reapply my makeup throughout the day because it's so hot here that my face falls off. So it's no big deal, it's fine. Um, so I'm going to use the Laura Mercier, honestly, can't even remove this on this, it's so old, but it's just like a bronzer brush, you can get any bronzer brush at Sephora, or MAC makes good ones, um, Sigma Beauty makes really great ones as well, um, so I just dab it, 
it's like super pigmented, so don't like go crazy. And I'm just gonna go back in again with the Sephora rounded powder extra large blush and just blend again. It's all about the blending. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite brush for blush. It's it's actually a face blender, it's by Bobbi Brown. And I use the Luminous Flush Blush. That's like a tongue twister. Luminous Flush Blush by Hourglass. Looks like this. It's like a really pretty pink, and I absolutely love it as well. And I just put a little bit. So that's it for the face. Now we're going to the eyes, which is the part that I swear I know the most about, but I know nothing about. So as you watch me do this, you might judge me, but it's all right. It's okay. So I'm gonna get the Sigma Persuade eyeshadow base and put it over my eyes. All right, so now I'm gonna use, actually I've never really used this color for the base, but it's um, in the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. It's called Sugar Milk, so it's this one. You probably can't see it again because I don't know how to focus, but I will put that up for you too. Okay, so you want to just like get it really lightly because it's just so like strong. And I'm just going to use this as a base for my eyes. I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I'm also going to go in um, with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette in the color Blonde like a white um yellow beige if that makes any sense at all eyes are so dry it's actually really devastating right now i haven't noticed until i've like been doing this i'm like oh guys i feel like they're gonna like be super wrinkly and fall off okay Okay, so that's that. So I'm going to keep that as my base. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a medium to like darker color because I want to have like a transition from the light base to um, the darker color. So I'm actually going to use, this is like my favorite. Um, oh, by the way, I just want to let you know that for that I used the MAC 224 brush, just so you know. I'm going to come back and use that for blending. Um, but okay, so for the medium color I used the Chanel Le Four Ombre um, oh, 39 refinement and I'm going to use... I'm going to use the color on the top right. I lied. I'm going to use the color on the bottom left. So I'm just going to make like a, an L. It's actually like a V. I don't know in what world is that an L, but... And this one's going to go like wider around the crease. Alright, so see it's like a pinky brown, beige, nude, white kind of combination. That makes any sense. And I would use the 222 MAC brush for this. So now I'm going to go back in with the 224 and just blend the two colors. I actually like how it's coming out. It's like really pinky, which I like, and I'm very like feminine, so it looks good. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with a darker color. And for this, I'm going to use my Chanel number no. 3. I love this brush. I've had it forever. I really like Chanel's brushes because they last long. So I'm going back in with the 39 Refinement palette from Chanel. It's like the Lay 4 Ombre. Um, I'm going to go with the top left and the bottom right, which are the darker, like brown purple. And I'm just going to dab because it's like super, super, oh man. I got it all over my chair. It's fine. I messed up a little bit. So I'm gonna go back in with the 224 brush and I'm just gonna like blend this like crazy. That's as good as it's gonna get for me. I'm going to go in now with, let's figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Virgin by Urban Decay. This comes in this palette and the Naked, I think it's just the Naked Original palette, but I ran out of them because I use these so much. So I'm going to go in and I'm just gonna use um, I'm just gonna use a Mac brush 
217. It's like the numbers are gone. And I'm just gonna go over the lid. And before I do anything, I need to make sure that I'm not gonna look like a crazy person because I have no idea what I just did to my eyeballs. So I'm gonna go in with the concealer again and just go in the bottom. Okay, now, now I'm gonna go with my favorite uh, item that I cannot find. Oh, found you. Okay, so this, I'm really bad with like eyeliner on the top, really, really bad. Like, you don't even wanna see how I usually do it. But the only product that I can actually do it with is my Yves Saint Laurent Eyeliner Baby Doll in, I guess it's like color zero. Um, It's just the black, and I really like it because it has like a really nice, user-friendly tip. Um, so I'm going to apply that on the top of my eyelid. I'll be back. Alright, so now that I've applied that, I'm going to go back into my bottom line and I'm going to go with um, just any brush. It could be an angled brush or it can be just like a little brush like this. And I'm going to kind of like put down here the color of one of the eyeshadows I used. Um, for this, I'm going to do the, the, the refinement but at the bottom left, so the color that I used second. Now I'm going to do my eyebrows before I do my mascara. I really don't know what accent that was. I think it's like the Robitussin that's getting to my brain. Alright, so I just used the regular Anastasia eyebrow double sided brush and I use the Myra's Art Beauty Brow Art. Um, it's just kind of like how the Anastasia one is but what I like about this is that it has a wax also. So it has a wax as the powder. Um, they're not yet available online but they will be soon. I will let you know because these are awesome. I've actually been using this more than my Anastasia. Okay, so once my eyebrows are done, I'm going to place them with just a regular gel. You can get these at Sephora or um, Nordstrom or wherever there is a makeup counter. One of the last steps is mascara, of course. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Thicker, Longer, Stronger Subversion Lash Primer, and this is awesome. And then I use two different mascaras. First, I use the YSL Baby Doll, and this is my first coat. Now I go in with the Chanel Le Volumen um, Mascara. This is my absolute favorite. I've had this one forever, and I love it. Alright, so the last step is to add a makeup setting spray. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter. Make sure it's like pretty far away from you. Just spray a few sprays. <laughs> Wait for it to dry. And then after that, I just put some Lip Glow Color Reviving Balm by Dior. Ooh, it's like a hair on it. Alright, well, I put that on. And this just gives you nice hydration. Make sure there's like no um, leftover residue from anything. Fix your hair. And that's it. It's easy, it's quick, um, it's my everyday kind of makeup thing. I'll experiment with different colors on my eyes, um, always within like the browns and the neutrals. But like I use this palette a lot, the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. This is probably what I use the most. I just use. Um, if you want to know, I use the Toasted and Hustle for the darker colors, and then the Virgin and the Sin for the lighter colors. If you're to invest in any palette, I would say this one. Um, although I haven't tried a million of them, I really, really love this one, and it's I always go back to it once I like buy different ones and like where is my naked palette? So it's really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, a hair tutorial will be coming up next. I had actually filmed both of these, but the camera was blurry so I have to refilm them and I already have my hair done today so I'm going to film that one over the weekend and post that one next week for you guys um I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon